I'm James Panda Ding, and I'm the jungler for Echo Fox Academy. I was born in Adelaide, Australia, and I lived there for about a year before I moved to Singapore. And then I went to like preschool, kindergarten there, and then I moved to the US in first grade. And I was really into sports like ping pong, tennis, basketball, soccer, stuff like that. Um, and then in sixth grade, I just eventually decided on tennis. And that's what I did throughout my middle and high school career. I really wanted to be a pro tennis player, but Obviously that's like pretty, pretty hard, um, but I played varsity for four years of high school and the first two years I played singles and then my third year uh, there were a lot of singles players and not enough double players and my coach was like, hey, like we need someone for doubles and I was just willing to move to doubles and then yeah, we ended up winning CIF which is like the big tournament for high school in our division and yeah, we, me and my doubles partner got doubles MVP of Inland Empire so yeah, it was really nice. I'm the youngest of three sons, and my older brother is two years older, and my oldest brother is 10 years older than me. My dad is a professor at UC Riverside, and my mom is like a lab technician. I w originally, I was going to just follow that road and go into grad school and become, hopefully become a professor and just do work in the lab, but then I wanted to do something that I was really passionate about, so that's why I decided to try lead. Originally, I was gonna take a gap year in between high school and college to try and pursue League of Legends esports, um, but then my parents really wanted me to at least finish my undergrad, and I was like, okay, I can go to university and uh, play League of Legends for the collegiate team, so that's what I ended up doing. And I played collegiate League of Legends for like three out of the four years, and we ended up getting top top four in the, the, my last two years of collegiate, and that was really nice. So I got to focus on school, but also focus on League and pursue both options. From collegiate, I learned a lot about League and a lot about just being a good teammate and a good person, and just understanding that everyone has a different perspective on things, like people place a different emphasis on league and school, right? I can't expect them to focus on league as much as I'm invested in it because school is the main priority. But then once I graduated, I was able to focus fully on league. So I spent the five months after graduating just grinding like the League of Legends ladder to try and make scouting grounds. And yeah, I like made it by luck, I would say. I was, I ended up being the eighth ranked jungler for a lot of junglers were ineligible due to various reasons. Uh, so I ended up getting in, and I was really surprised and really happy, and I just didn't want to waste the opportunity. CS apart. He's better again, though. Hectic on the way to Monte Jurassic. They're gonna dive down. It should be a pretty free kill as Winter. Get stunned. He's able to claim it. Abyss Panda does get stunned, but the tower does not latch again. I didn't expect Scouting Grounds to provide so many opportunities, but I was really like immersed with like all the different coaching staff and like professional players, and they just gave me like a good, a good uh, output on it. So for Scouting Grounds, we were required to make a Twitter account uh, in case teams or whatever want, or staff wanted to message us. And I thought it was kind of like a joke at the time, but about two weeks after Scouting Grounds ended, I just got a DM on Twitter from manager of the Echo Fox League team. He's like, hey, we're really interested in you. You're a first option for jungle. Like, do you want to get in the call? And I was like, hell yeah. So when I first joined the academy team, I was, I was pretty worried because I'm the only rookie and everyone else has really good experience, right? Like Phil was like second place in academy, uh, Lost was in LCS, Lolo was in LCS. So the newest player other than me would just be Yasui. But yeah, I definitely had a lot of worry like going into the split because I feel like as a jungler, you need to make sure that your teammates respect you enough. There's enough mutual respect so that in game they're like, people follow each other's calls. Because so I feel like the jungler dictates a lot of the early game. Uh, so they need to make sure that everyone is on the same page. And that might be hard because if I'm a rookie coming in, I don't necessarily want to be the leader of comms or be leading the team. 
because I don't, I don't feel like I have the respect or the knowledge to necessarily do that. As the academy split went on, I just made sure to stay on top of those things and get better at it and get more consistent so that I wouldn't let my team down. Debuting on the LCS stage here this week is going to be Panda taking the place of Rush. I definitely did not expect to play LCS for this split. I, I thought it was like honestly like a 1% chance or something because Rush is just such an experienced veteran and everyone knows he's really good. When I got in the meeting to let me know that I was playing LCS, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I really didn't know how else to approach it. I just came in with the mindset of trying to learn as much as I can from all these LCS veterans. So when I was on the Uber ride to LCS, I was pretty in my own head, I would say, like I was thinking, oh, how should I, like should I play any different? Like, do I need to like communicate any differently? Like communicate more, communicate less? I don't want to clutter columns. Like all these like thoughts in the back of my, in the back of my mind. Um, but once I got to the LCS and I saw the first match, granted like they weren't the best teams playing, but they're still LCS teams nonetheless. And when I saw both teams, especially both junglers, just making a lot of like significant number of mistakes. I just felt like if I just focus on playing my own game, then I'll be able to for perform at least on their level. Making sure they're ready to go here, looking to bring the pain down onto Apollo, but instead it's going to be turned around. Acadia swooping in now, but Spooky's taking very low. Oh, on his head, and now he's gone. It's first blood of Echo Fox. Really well done here from Panda. So after getting a taste of LCS, my current plan is just to try and make the main roster for an LCS team. And that's where I'm focused on right now. And grad school and stuff is just like in the back burner for later. I think I have what it takes. It's just, I just have to focus on those parts that I was lacking on my, during my LCS time, right? Just focusing on mid game, focusing on those things.